Breaking news, investigators searching for clues right now in the case of a 14-year-old girl's body found near a trail. This happened in the village of Armada. Her body was found in the area of Fulton and Depot Road off Liberty Street near the Macomb Orchard Trail. 7 Action News reporter Julie Bonovich has been on the story all morning long and joins us now with the very latest. Julie. Hi, Joanne. We're here at the Armada Police Department where we've been for most of the morning. They've been giving us updates, filling us in. State police telling me that they believe that this is a possible homicide. They'll know more, they say, after the autopsy is done. We're being told that will happen sometime after 1 o'clock. Let's show you Chopper 7, some of the parts of the areas of that trail that we told you about that police are searching. They've had their canine dogs out there all morning, and now they will do that continue throughout the afternoon. Armada police have been out there as well. This is a 17-mile trail that runs from Richmond to Shelby Township, but so far, police are just concentrating on the area where the body was found. Right now, they're calling this an isolated incident. A couple jogging along the Macomb Orchard Trail, a popular biking trail that runs through Armada, found the body just off the path in a wooded area, but only because of a dog that got their attention. The dog actually ran up to a couple that were jogging along this bike path and ran them back to, the, to where the body was located. Lieutenant Michael Shaw says it's unclear if the female was walking the dog before she died. Police are not even sure if it's her dog yet. Sources tell 7 Action News that the body is of a 14-year-old girl. I'm shocked. Carl Muehlheisen, who always feels safe enough to ride the bike path every day, is stunned. I mean, really, because the state police patrols this area all the time. This morning, state troopers combed an area of the trail about a mile down from Fulton and Depot Streets where the body was found. We heard the helicopters about 9 o'clock. They were hovering over the house for a good half hour. Carol Hankey lives just down the street and didn't hear anything else unusual last night. It's frightening. It really is. I mean, this is a very quiet neighborhood. State police also searched a wooded area about a mile from where the body was found with metal detectors. Sources tell us they know what metal object they're looking for. Late this morning, police released this picture of a gray painter-type van. We're told someone nearby where the body was found took the picture, and finding the van could help with this investigation. And state police also want us to tell you that driving that van, people say were two white males. And they're saying if they can talk to them, maybe they can help out with this investigation. And again, you're looking at video where they've been searching all morning, and they'll continue that throughout the afternoon, looking for clues, any kind of evidence to tell us what happened to this girl. Now, if you do have any tips and you can help out state police find out what happened, there is a number that you can call at the bottom of your screen. That number is one eight seven seven six one six. 4677. Please tell us that they're going to have an update for us at 2 o'clock here at the police department for a press conference. We're live. Julie Bonovich, 7 Action News. Joanne, back to you. All right.